concept of an expanding universe was first proposed by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity, through the introduction of the cosmological constant, lambda, in his equation to counteract the effect of gravity. However, astronomers initially believed that the universe was static at large scales. Later, Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was indeed expanding, and the rate of expansion was accelerating, as calculated by the Hubble constant. Despite decades of research, the nature of dark energy and dark matter remains one of the most persistent mysteries in cosmology. We present a novel theory that explains the origin and properties of dark matter and dark energy. Our theory presents a relationship between the properties of spacetime, rotating black holes, dark matter, and the expansion of the universe, also known as dark energy, and even cause of Big Bang. I first conceived this idea in 2016 and have since reviewed several articles to ensure its consistency with observational data and known laws of physics. However, as I am not from the field of cosmology, I did not have right knowledge or resources to professionally format my theory with the necessary formulations and equations, but a recently, a novel article caught my attention regarding the coupling between black holes and the expansion of the universe. This article closely aligned with my theory's predictions from years ago, prompting me to publish my work in its current form. Our theory has the potential to explain several previously unexplained phenomena in cosmology, such as the origin of the accelerated expansion of the universe and the nature of dark matter. We recognize that our theory is speculative and requires further testing and refinement. However, we believe that it presents a promising avenue for further research and exploration in the field of cosmology. The Beauty and Simplicity of This Theory One of the greatest strengths of our theory is its simplicity and logical coherence. It does not require complex mathematical formulas or exotic theoretical constructs to understand. Its intuitive nature makes it accessible to a wide range of people, regardless of their scientific background. Our theory presents a revolutionary solution for cosmology, as it addresses three major phenomena in one fell swoop. Our theory not only explains the nature of dark matter and dark energy, but also provides a potential explanation for the cause of the Big Bang and inflation. Abstract The Big Bang theory provides a framework for understanding the origin of the universe, but it fails to fully explain the ongoing expansion of the universe from its inception to the present day. The theory of inflation provides a partial explanation for the initial stages of expansion, but it does not account for the overall expansion of the universe, nor can it explain the sudden and extreme acceleration that occurred shortly after the Big Bang. This acceleration is currently attributed to the mysterious force known as dark energy, but its true nature remains unknown. Additionally, there is a discrepancy in the measurements of the Hubble constant, which is used to estimate the rate of expansion of the universe. Observations of the local universe provide a different value for the Hubble constant than measurements of the cosmic microwave background, causing further confusion and uncertainty. In this paper, we propose a novel theory that seeks to address these inconsistencies and provide a comprehensive explanation for the ongoing expansion of the universe. Our theory offers a simple and elegant solution to the problems of dark energy and the Hubble constant discrepancy and has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of cosmology. While further research and experimentation are necessary to validate our theory, we believe that it represents a promising avenue for future investigation in this field. The Creation of the Cosmic Web After the Big Bang and inflation, the matter in the universe began to clump together to form the early structures of the universe. This process is currently attributed to the dark matter, a mysterious substance that is thought to make up the majority of the matter in the universe. According to the prevailing model, Dark matter was the first to clump together to form the cosmic web-like structure that served as a scaffolding for the subsequent formation of galaxies and other structures. In our novel theory, we propose a relationship between spacetime, black holes, dark energy, and dark matter that not only explains the creation of the cosmic web, but also sheds light on the origins of the Big Bang and inflation. We suggest that the expansion of the universe is driven by black holes stretching the fabric of spacetime. This expansion is not uniform but varies with the distribution of matter in nearby regions of the superclusters. The theory. The true nature of spacetime fabric of the universe. The fabric of spacetime is not only bent by mass, but can also be stretched like a rubber sheet. 
It has flow-like properties with elasticity, allowing it to partially flow, like molten rubber, or a liquid elastic fluid. When massive objects such as black holes spin in the fabric of spacetime, they create a spiral of 3D vortices in the surrounding area, which is partially similar to frame dragging, but with elastic fluidity. This moving spinning spacetime creates gravitational momentum around massive structures like black holes, behaving like a gravitational trap for massive particles or stars in that region. This overcomes the centrifugal force of fast-orbiting objects like stars around the edge of the galaxy and solves the galaxy rotation curve problem. This idea is partially responsible for the concept of dark matter, but our next theory will completely explain the relationship between all the mysterious observations. The growth and expansion of black holes are related to the novel theory of the spacetime fabric. The spacetime fabric is gradually falling, being drawn in and compressed into the black hole, it happens to all matter but not as strongly as with black holes mostly with the spinning one. This inward spiral falling of the spacetime fabric in each galaxy creates a spiral vortex of gravitational flow-like momentum that attracts all the matter inwards by overcoming the centrifugal force of fast-orbiting stars in the galaxy. Since the spacetime fabric itself moves inward towards the core, where the supermassive black holes are seated, sink of the spacetime, these two theories solve the observed problem of the rotation curve problem. As the spacetime fabric falls into the black hole, it increases the black hole's mass over time, contributing to the mass of the galaxy. All supermassive black holes in every galaxy spin in 3D spacetime fabric, so we observe the falling and spiraling of the spacetime fabric around the black hole in a hollow shape that can be seen through gravitational lensing. This theory completely solves the mystery of dark matter, the black hole relation with dark energy. Dark energy is the result of the stretching of spacetime between large collections of mass, primarily spinning supermassive black holes, that are present in nearby superclusters. For relatively small masses, such as those of galaxies and stars, the fabric of spacetime is not stretched enough, so space behaves like a non-stretchable sheet for these less massive objects and structures in the universe. Nevertheless, the flow-like properties of the spacetime fabric are still maintained. Therefore, the curved spacetime model works perfectly for less massive structures such as stars and galaxies, which are likely to be attracted by the pulling force of gravity, falling with the spacetime towards the overall mass. This force also manifests as a pulling force. However, if there is enough mass around the spacetime fabric, it can overcome the force of gravity, like the spacetime fabric around superclusters, by stretching the spacetime fabric itself. This is the reason why the expansion has only been observed in between massive superclusters and cluster-like structures. Overall, the fabric of spacetime is stretchy, but only to a certain point. Below this point, spacetime behaves like a flat sheet, in a 2D reference for simplicity. This solves some of the mysterious observed phenomena related to the expansion of the universe, known as dark energy. But there is no need for energy. Instead, it seems that the universe is trying to conserve the fabric of spacetime. If it shrinks somewhere, it also expands elsewhere. If the expansion continues forever, it will create new problems in physics if it reaches the point of the separation of quarks. Since quarks cannot exist as single entities, they have to create their own pairs. This violates the law of conservation of mass and energy in the universe. My theory does not allow for continuous expansion. In the next section, we will present the idea for the limit of expansion. Limit of spacetime expansion There must be a limit to how much spacetime can be stretched in a particular region relative to nearby superclusters. The free spacetime can only be stretched to the point where it is completely stretched and can't expand any further, so both gravity and expansion achieve uniformity in surrounding regions. Looking at a large scale in 3D, we can observe two things. The collection of matter in the filaments of the cosmic web and the expansion in between the filaments of the cosmic web. The collected mass of the filament will concentrate to the most massive regions going via the filament regions, acting as the cosmic gravitational highways for normal matter. As the mass of such massive regions in the cosmic web increases over time, the void in between also concentrates and expands. This creates a relation between the expansion rate and mass density of particular points of the superclusters, which indicates that the expansion rate should not be constant in all directions, 
instead, it should depend on the distribution of the mass around that spacetime. In summary, the expansion of spacetime has a limit, and it depends on the distribution of mass in the surrounding region. The concept of cosmic gravitational highways provides a way to understand how matter in the universe is distributed, and how it affects the overall expansion rate. By understanding these factors, we can gain a better understanding of the dynamics of the universe, and how it evolves over time. The true cause of the Big Bang and inflation, the breakdown of the cosmic event horizon. The Big Bang as we know it is not the only one in our universe, there may have been many. As described above, when we observe the large scale of the cosmos, we see two different things happening, the extreme collection of matter in certain regions of the cosmic web, the cosmic seeds for the Big Bang, and the creation of extreme voids and expansions in between such extremely massive regions. If we assume that spacetime cannot be expanded infinitely, it can help us answer the question of what caused the Big Bang. When the expansion and stretching of spacetime reach their extreme and uniform state at a particular region of the cosmic web, then one of its weakest gravitationally compressed regions, the cosmic event horizon, in the cosmic web is forced to unfold by the extreme pulling force of spacetime around it. This unfolding of compressed spacetime of the event horizon causes the breakdown of the Schwarzschild radius and the breakdown of the black hole. This breakdown creates very fast and rapid expansion at the initial stage, solving the inflation, until it reaches equilibrium relative to the surrounding area. This process repeats again and again, creating multiple parallel big bangs and big crunches in a cyclic manner, causing the universe to cycle forever. The creation of the cosmic web just before the big bang. The warping of any flat geometry creates wrinkles, just like wrinkles on a bedsheet. Thus, there were already wrinkles present in the cosmic web, caused extremely stretched spacetime, at the time before the breakdown and unfolding of the cosmic event horizon, Big Bang, the pulling and stretching force of spacetime was not uniform around all three of its dimensions. Some parts of spacetime were more wrinkled and dense than other regions, effectively collecting more matter than the rest. It is considered that the event horizon was of a spinning black hole, so the wrinkles should be the result of the spinning metric. Note, in our novel model for the Big Bang and breakdown of the event horizon, we assumed and considered only the event horizon of a hypergiant black hole. However, it is possible that the same phenomenon may have occurred with other massive structures, including galaxies, clusters of galaxies, or any combination thereof.